MMA Boxing Talk here. I just want to put out a video um, kind of recapping a little bit of last night's fights, UFC on Fox 21. I want to talk about the winners and, you know, what's next for them and what their division kind of looks like. So, start off, uh, Damian Maya beats Carlos Condit, you know, um, rear naked choke. Um, yeah, rear naked choke. And um, so he's definitely in line for a title shot now. Wonderboy Thompson, he's done more than Damian Maya. He deserves the title shot more than Damian Maya. Very close. Um, but, you know, Dana White has came out and said that Wonderboy will get the next title shot. So hopefully that'll be true. But the winner of Woodley Wonderboy will face Damian Maya though. And Damian Maya, you know, he, he's, he's fine with waiting, waiting it out for his title shot. He's 38 years old, you know. If Wonderboy fights in November, Maya might get the title shot, you know, um, early early uh, 2017, you know, whether it's uh, February, March, April kind of thing uh, of next year, Maya will get his title shot. Um, it's only fair, you know, and there was a lot of talk GSP was going to get the title shot, but it sounds like he's going to fight possibly Nick Diaz at, in December. So, um, yeah, very interesting. And now the, the Maya beat Carlos Condit. I'd like to see Carlos Condit fight Robbie Lawler next. Um, both guys are coming off of a loss. They fought back in January. Amazing fight. It was the fight of the year. Um, I think until Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz 2, um, that might have surpassed it. But regardless, those are the two best fights of the year. And I'd love to see Hendricks versus Lawler once again. Um, also in that division uh, of Walter White, we have uh, Donald Cerrone, who said that he'd be willing to fight Robbie Lawler because apparently they want Robbie Lawler on 205. Um, or I don't know about that, but uh, Cerrone's interested in fighting Lawler at UFC 205. We'll see what happens there. Uh, I'd rather see Condit, Lawler. But anyway, moving on. Uh, Anthony Pettis submits um, Charles Oliveira via guillotine submission. Um, very good performance for Anthony Pettis. You know, he really needed this one. Coming off three losses. Um, and, you know, this was his featherweight debut. So, and they, they gave him a solid a solid opponent. You know, a sixth-ranked guy. Uh, very dangerous submissions. Underrated striking. Um, and, and a big guy. You know, he, uh, Oliveira used to fight at, at 155. So, it's not like we saw Pettis um, have that extra size advantage. Even though he did look stronger, he, he was physically stronger than Oliveira. Um, great win. See, when you're looking about when you're talking about featherweight, it's really hard to, to see what's gonna ha what's to know and predict what's gonna happen because it really all comes down to what is Conor McGregor gonna do next. If Conor McGregor defends his title next and fights Jose Aldo, say at the end of this year, um, if we have McGregor Aldo, then I think Max Holloway. Um, you know, he'd, he'd have to maybe fight a guy like Frankie Edgar if Frankie Edgar wants that fight. Um, and if not, I wouldn't mind seeing Anthony Pettis versus Max Holloway or maybe Frankie Edgar. You know, those three guys, Frankie Edgar, Max Holloway, um, and Pettis, you know, I'd like to see all three of them fight each other, you know what I mean, if McGregor's going to fight Aldo. But if McGregor decides to fight Eddie Alvarez for the 155-pound strap, then there's no doubt Max Holloway is going to fight Jose Aldo. I mean, it's what makes sense. And, and, you know, I don't know if they'll strip McGregor. You know, they might want to promote it, champion versus champion. If they do, McGregor Alvarez, I'm not sure. If that's the case, you know, Aldo defends his interim title and they make McGregor come back after beating... If he beats or loses to Eddie Alvarez, either way. But in the meantime, you know, I'd like to see, uh, you know, Max Holloway. If he's not going to get a chance against Aldo, um, Holloway should get Edgar or Pettis. I think Pettis Holloway would be great as well. Um, now, for Anthony Pettis, if he doesn't fight Frankie Edgar or Max Holloway next, um, I'd like to see him fight maybe Cub Swanson. Or Ricardo Lamas, you know what I mean? A little, not so, you know, a little a down one tier kind of thing. Two really good fighters, though, Lamas and Swanson. Um, 
anyway, we'll see what happens there. But like I said, with, with Conor McGregor, who knows? But um, yeah, Max Holloway definitely, in my eyes, is the number one contender um, other than, say, Jose Aldo. But um, also, I want to talk about Paige Van Zandt. Now, she also had a spectacular win, TKO finish, amazing switch kick, um, and knocking out Beck Rollins. Great, great performance. Now, Paige Van Zandt's ranked number 10 in that division. She had lost last December pretty badly to Rose Namajunas. She got pretty beat up. Uh, took eight months off Dancing with the Stars. She, she you know, refocused, re- rejuvenated herself. Um, came back, looked spectacular, you know. Um, so I'm not sure what the what UFC's plan is for Paige Van Zandt. I don't, I can't see them rushing her. She's so young. She's 22 years old. Um, you know, let her fight some girls ranked around her or maybe ranked a bit, uh, uh, you know, higher than her, you know, um, or like a like a lower ranking, you know, someone that's not as ranked as high as Paige Van Zandt. Paige Van Zandt, like I said, ranked number ten. I would like to see maybe her fight someone like uh, Jessica Aguilar or Jessica Penne next, someone like that, you know, maybe a Juliana Lima. Um, I mean, uh, Marina Moroz would be a pretty interesting fight as well. But someone like that, you know, not, not, not jump in and fight. Uh, a Rose Namajunas caliber again, you know, uh, take a few fights, she's so young, um, the UFC, they should be smart about this, and uh, promote her, build her brand up a little more, and, um, but, but spectacular win, she, uh, nobody really saw this coming, I know Beck Rollins wasn't ranked in the top 15, but she's a solid fighter, and, um, you know, she was a lot bigger, had more experience, you know, she, you could tell, she was, um, like, you know, she's just an older girl. She's been doing this longer, so it is what it is. But I just wanted to put out a video talking about, you know, some of the fights last night. Also, we had um, Jim Miller. You know, Jim Miller um, beat Joe Lozon in a very, very close fight. You know, really could have went either way. Personally, I actually scored it for uh, Joe Lozon, but uh, they gave it to Miller. It was super close. Uh, Miller's coming off of two wins in a row. Um against Takanori Gomi and Joe Lozon. So maybe he'll get a top 15 guy, but who knows, because that division is, you know, it's, it's so stacked at 155. I mean, when you look at the guys, Gilbert Melendez is ranked number 14, Ally Quinta 13. No, ranked number 12 is um, Will Brooks. Before, ahead of him, Dariush, Michael Johnson, Michael Kesa, Dustin Poirier, Anthony Pettis. Pettis has went back down, but... A lot, a lot of good fighters, and that's not even counting the top five, six guys, so um, we'll see who they're going to give Jim Miller next, but uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe it'll be a ranked guy, maybe it won't be, but uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think, but uh, to recap, you know, Wonderboy gets the next title shot against Woodley, uh, GSP is going to fight Nick Diaz, of course, apparently, um, and Damian Maya, you know, he sits out, and he waits and sees who wins between Woodley and Wonderboy, and he'll face the winner. Um, and also, I wouldn't mind seeing Carlos Condit versus Robbie Lawler again, uh, both coming off losses, why not? At Featherweight, you know, um, I'd like to see Pettis fight Frankie Edgar, you know, or Max Holloway. And if not, maybe like Lomas or Swanson. And if Conor McGregor, you know, if he fights Eddie Alvarez and he doesn't defend his title next, I give Holloway, uh, give Holloway Aldo to fight for the interim title, and I would personally probably maybe give Pettis Edgar. I don't know. Pettis says he wants, you know, he wants that that title. He wants that belt. So if he wants that belt, he's gonna have to fight a guy like Frankie Edgar, and um, but maybe it'll be a or Mister Swanson, and and then he'll. He'll do it. It'll take his time a little more. But uh, anyway, it is what it is. I just wanted to put out a video recapping the fights last night and, you know, what the welterweight, featherweight, strawweight, and a bit of the lightweight division picture looks like. So that's it for this one. If you liked the video, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter at MMABoxingTalk1. I'm also on Instagram. That's it for this one. If you liked the video, subscribe. Peace.